this earlier, there will be elections in Senegal later this month, the presidential elections. Now what had happened uh, in Senegal was that uh, over the last two years or so, uh, the most popular person in terms of the opposition they had got into trouble, got arrested and charged and so on. In the, in the end, I think he got charged for something, found guilty on the charge of corrupting the youth, uh, something like that. Sentenced. Uh, by far the most popular politician, I'm talking about a gentleman called Usman Sonko. Uh, so that is in jail. And people were killed in Senegal demonstrating against his arrest and imprisonment. Genuinely popular figure. So, uh, because of this concern about democracy on the continent, and Senegal stands out on the continent as the one of the few countries on the continent which has never had military coup. Since independence in 1960, there's never been a coup there. You'd have elections and then the incumbent parties lose elections and new ones take over. But there was a crisis now because here is the most popular leader who's opposite side of the president in another party, but is in jail. So, uh, so we engaged, we engaged with President, President Makisal to say, but President, uh, Senegal is very, very important on the continent as this great exemplar, exemplar of democracy. It illustrates very, very firmly, very conclusively that we as Africans know how to manage democratic systems. And we can't afford to have Senegal fall back on that. And therefore, let the matter of Usman Songo, who wants to run for president, let that matter be decided by the voters, not by prison orders. Yeah. And just before I came here, I saw a lovely report that President Makisal has intervened. Uh, declared an amnesty all the prisoners out of jail, including Usman Sonko. Uh, and pardoned various charges, as a result of which Usman Sonko is running for president. That was uh, an excellent intervention made by the president of Senegal. Precisely to say it's, it's a responsibility 